Don't be silly. That kind of talk would blow holes in everything. Most unfortunately, it was already too late for that kind of talk. A thing immediately theologically dangerous, you understand, just some people asking questions about what Aristotle had said about motion on Earth. What were they up to? Nothing much. Just blowing holes in everything. Here's Niccolo Tartaglia, expert on that new terror weapon, the cannon, trying very sensibly to find out how to shoot it more accurately so his boss, the local duke, can put his military and political standing up by knocking his enemy's military and political standing down. In the course of these dynamic deliberations, Tartaglia was to discover something extremely awkward regarding that business you remember about what Aristotle said on how things moved when they got propelled, in straight lines on Earth and in curves only in heaven. Well, the more Tartaglia looked at what his cannonballs were doing, the more it looked as if they weren't doing what they were supposed to. The ball went straight, all right, straight out of the muzzle. But it very definitely didn't just stop in mid-air and fall straight down. It curved. Now, if the official view of circular motion only happening in heaven was wrong, then stuff about planets on crystal spheres was wrong. And if that was wrong, everything was wrong. Tartaglia, however, was interested only in what could have created a curving trajectory. Air resistance? 